Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Aldas and in today's video I'm going to be doing my review from round 3 of the 2019 W series at Masano. Now this is a brand new addition to the channel. I have been watching the W series since it began in Hockenheim but sadly I wasn't able to uh, start or bring this to the channel I should say and do my reviews for the first two rounds because at the time I had exams as some of you guys might know. So it's going to be a little bit sort of strange for me to start sort of during the middle of the season and review it till the end but that's just how it's going to have to be sadly. But either way, I'm going to be doing my review of the races, sort of giving my highlights, looking at the championship and just talking about it and everything like that, giving my view and hopefully it'll be a good video. Uh, if you do enjoy the W series or if you watch it or if you're just getting into it and uh, enjoy my content, then don't forget to like, subscribe, all of that good stuff and check out my social medias, Instagram and Twitter will be above. But yeah, let's get into my first video reviewing round three from the W series in 2019. Let's go. So I'm going to start off my race review with the race results and it was Jamie Chadwick who won the race and took her second win of the season ahead of the previous race winner Baitska Visser who finished in second with Fabian Volven the pole sitter for this race completing the podium. Miki Koyama finished in fourth with Vicky Piria of course her home race finishing in fifth with Marta Garcia in sixth and Tasman Pepper in seventh and to complete the points we have Sabre Cook, Sarah Moore and Vivian Kessley in tenth. Now outside of the points we have Esme Hawking and Sarah Bovey in 12th with Redest and Wood in 14th with Jessica Hawkins, Shea Holbrook, Megan Gilks and Naomi Sheaf the last of the finishers with Alice Powell of course crashing out at the first corner. Now, jumping into the race highlights, it was a great start by Jamie Chadwick, despite the fact that, to be honest, for the first second or just off the line, she didn't look like she quite got the uh, launch that she wanted, but the traction she got after that was absolutely unbelievable. And the run to the first corner in Masano is actually not that long, but despite that, on the camera, it looked like Jamie had something like a two or three car length advantage by the time they got to that first turn, so her traction was unbelievable. Now, behind her, Fabian Volven had lots of wheel spin and did not manage to get away very well. And I think it was perhaps the, the pressure of being on her first W Series pole and trying to convert that into a win. Kind of similar, I suppose, to Charles Leclerc in Bahrain also having a bad start. So maybe it's just that sort of added pressure of your first pole and you need to bring a good result. So yeah, she did not have a great start at all. Jumped by both Jamie Chadwick and Beitzger Visser. And then, of course, at Turn 1, Alice Powell colliding with Volvend. And yeah, that was pretty much the end of that. And it was a case of really three into one just does not go because, of course, Beitzger Visser was also there. And yeah, Alice Powell. I think it was just unlucky. It was always going to close that gap and it's the start of the race and it's just one of those incidents. But yeah, she'll be very frustrated, especially considering the fact that she's been on the podium for every single race in both Hockenheim and Zolder. She's been very consistent at the top and yeah, this is going to be very frustrating, especially for her championship hopes. Now, early on in the race, it became very clear that the three front runners just had more pace than the rest of the field. They began to create a gap and the fight between those three lasted pretty much the entire race. Now, early on, the pole sitter who dropped a third, Fabian Volven, really did look like perhaps she had the most pace out of anyone and started to attack Beitzka Visser. But as the race progressed, Visser actually began to create a small gap to Volven and started to attack Jamie Chadwick for the race lead. Now, it definitely looked like she had more pace and despite some clever driving on different lines and putting Chadwick under immense pressure... I mean, Jamie Chadwick, she was having absolutely none of it and defended flawlessly. Not a single mistake, not a single lockup, really, the entire race. And in the end, I mean, yeah, Jamie controlled the race under massive pressure and won by just over five tenths to take her second win of the 2019 W Series Championship. And yeah, a brilliant race by Jamie. No mistakes and definitely well controlled with a fantastic start. Now, further down the field, Miki Koyama also did a brilliant job starting from sixth and finishing in fourth, overtaking actually the home favorite, Vicky Piria. Now, Koyama is a really interesting one because she looks to be really strong during the races. I mean, in all of three races, actually, Hockenheim, Zolda, and now Masano, she's always attacking and always gaining positions from wherever she's starting. But looking at her pace, she certainly should be fighting, I think, for podiums and maybe even race wins. But her qualifying so far, in my opinion, has been quite underwhelming. And that's what's really holding her back, I think, because she does seem to have lots of speed during the races. So I think once she really nails them, I think she could seriously start to challenge up front with her great overtaking ability. So yeah, Koyama, I think she has a lot of speed, but qualifying, I think, needs to be her absolute priority to make sure that she's in a good position and to use her speed to fight for maybe podiums. And like I said, maybe even race wins as well in the future. Now, another really good performance further down was the American driver, Sabre Cook. She also had a stunning race after qualifying in 15th. She managed to finish in 8th 
place. So yeah, a really good race. And although we didn't get to see too much of her and uh, her overtaking, I presume, on the race feed, because we were quite focused on the, uh, on the fight for the lead, yeah, she had a fantastic race, and especially considering the fact that, as was pointed out by uh, one of the pit lane reporters, she's only just getting used to racing on these European circuits, which are vastly different, actually, to the US circuits. And I'm sure that's obviously for quite a few of the drivers that are not European. But yeah, she scored her first points of the season and definitely had a good race. And lastly, the final sort of highlight was a good battle for the final points paying position. And although it looked like Nomi Sheaf could have held on to it, she made a mistake and was too quick on the throttle going over a curb and had a spin sending her out of the points. And yeah, that would be a very disappointing finish for her when it looked like perhaps she could score her second point of the season. Now, just before I do end the video, let's take a quick look at the championship standings. And it is Jamie Chadwick who has extended her lead to 13 points. Although, as we've seen, despite many people saying that she's going to run away with it, she's going to have to fight for this all the way until the end because there are some very quick drivers behind her. Now, also at the sharp end of the championship, Miki Koyama and Fabian Volven have gained places. Whilst due to her first lap incident, Alice Powell has been overtaken by Marta Garcia, who, of course, also managed to score a podium in Hockenheim. As for the rest of the standings, there is now only six drivers who have not yet scored any points, and that is Esme Hawkey, Jessica Hawkins, Shea Holbrook, Sarah Bovey, Megan Gilks, and Emma Kimmelainen. Now, Emma Kimmelainen, we still have not actually seen properly on track, and that is a shame because she really did look uh, at the start of the season like she had the pace to be with the front runners, but due to some medical issues, she hasn't been able to compete, and that is a real shame because. Yeah, she looked very quick and hopefully we'll be able to see her next time out. And speaking actually of next time out, the next race will be in Germany at the Norris Ring for round four of the 2019 W Series Championship on the 6th of July. And once again, I will be covering it. I'll be doing my race review and again, just sort of giving my general thoughts around the race. But there you go, guys. That is my race review from round three of the 2019 W Series. Now, if you do watch the W Series and enjoy this video, then I'd really appreciate it just uh, if you uh, like the video and smash that subscribe button button as well if you want to see more if you're not that into w series then don't you worry formula one will be back very very soon it's a bit of a double upload today because i'll also be dropping my review of the qualifying from the canadian grand prix so uh, keep a lookout for that later on today but like i said if you do enjoy the content on this channel and want to support the channel then like subscribe all of that good stuff and check out my social media instagram and twitter will be above but anyway guys i will see you in the next one bye guys